Howdy, everyone. Many of you may not know me, but my name is really Kay Kays, and my story would be dramatically different if it weren't for Dr. Daniel von Hoff. In fact, I can say with certainty that someone else would be standing here telling it, but instead I stand here as a 25-year pancreatic cancer survivor. Doctors diagnosed me with early stage pancreatic cancer in 1994, and at the time, there weren't too many options out there as far as treatment. I qualified for the Whipple procedure, though, and I moved forward with it, largely due to the lack of other options, because chemotherapy and radiation simply were not part of standard of care. In the five years that followed my Whipple procedure, I co-initiated the first pancreatic patient monthly support group at the wellness community, now the cancer support community, helping others dealing with similar diagnosis come to terms with their conditions and learn how to maintain diagnosis, an active role in their treatment. Right around that five-year mark, though my cancer came back in the pancreas, involving removal of my spleen and total pancreas with a follow-up CT scan that showed that it had metastasized to the lymph nodes. Two highly recognizable oncologists told me the metastasis was inoperable, especially telling me to get my affairs in order because there was nothing they could do. That was not the case with Dr. Von Hoff. Instead, he recommended I see Dr. Doug Evans, who is also in our audience tonight. <laughs> surgical leader of the pancreatic cancer team at MD Anderson in Houston, who started me on gemcitabine, or gemzar, a drug which Dr. Von Hoff helped develop, the first chemotherapy ever to become available for pancreatic cancer patients. So I did just that, and six months later, doctors declared my condition operable, paving the way for removal of my lymph node mass. It was another three years before a mass returned to my lung, so I had that removed also. Now, 25 years later, I stand before you without a pancreas, a spleen, a gallbladder, or a full lung. But I have something more valuable, hope. <laughs> but enough about me. Let me get to the real reason many of us are here tonight. And I mean that in every sense of the word. When I first got my diagnosis, there simply weren't options out there. In the 25 years I've spent fighting this disease, though, I've experienced renewed hope, and I've helped pass that hope along to others, teaching cancer patients that it's okay to ask questions, seek second opinions, switch doctors, and otherwise advocate for themselves and have a say in their treatments. So much of this hope stems from the work of the brilliant incomparable Dr. Daniel von Hoff. He, ga <laughs> he gave us optimism when we had none, and he had cha has changed the game for us during the single most difficult time in our lives. He single-handedly changed the status quo for all the moms, dads, sons, and daughters out there facing pancreatic cancer diagnosis. And he has given us reason to believe that a cure is not a far-off fantasy, but rather a real, tangible reality. You get it, Dr. Von Hoff. You put the humanism in medicine. The focus has shifted to include not only the work of a doctor, but the being of a doctor. Effective doctor-patient communication is a central clinical function in building a therapeutic doctor-patient relationship, which is the heart and art of medicine. Research, which we know you love, has shown that effective patient-doctor communication can actually improve a patient's health as much as many drugs. I think I speak for all the warriors, Dr. Dan, when I say you didn't, you did, you didn't just make a difference in our lives. You gave us our lives back. 
you showed up. Yes! You showed us that a cure can be right around the corner. And that advancements are coming all the time that can give us more time with our families, more opportunities to do the things we love, and more chances to tell the people we care about how they truly mean to us. So on behalf of all survivors, I want to make you know that this is what it has meant to us as a community. Maya Angelou said, I have learned that people will forget about what you said, people will forget about what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. They call us warriors, Dan's diamonds, but the real rarity is you. We thank you. We thank you, Dr. Von Hoff, for keeping a smile on our face and hope in our hearts. And as we journey with pancreatic cancer, we will never forget how you made us feel. Thank you.